proportions with two parts and a total. For simple proportions, we can cross multiply. There's a ratio, three blue marbles for every seven mar red marbles in a group. If there are 15 blue marbles, how many red would there be? We write the ratio like this. Three red to seven blue equals same 15 red to how many blue? Red, red, blue, blue. We can take the top of the first part, multiply by the bottom of the second part, set that equal to the bottom of the first part times the top of the second part. Divide both sides by 3. X is 35. There are 35 red marbles in that group. What if it's more complicated? Same ratio, 3 blue to 7 red marbles. There are 40 marbles in the whole bag. How many red marbles? I could keep making more groups with 3 blue and 7 red marbles and counting, but math is about shortcuts. What do I need to know to answer this question? Let's make a table to show these relationships. Start with a column for ratio and a column for real, and then the rows are the part blue marbles, the part red marbles, and the total. Then we fill in what we know. We might have no idea what we're going to do with it, but I know I have three blue and seven red in the ratio, and I know there are 40 in the whole bag. Be sure to get them in the right box. What's being asked for? How many red marbles, right? That's the unknown, so it gets an X. But I can't make a proportion with this. It would be blue to what? It needs to be red to red, total to total. Well, we can figure that out. If there's three blue and seven red, 10 is the total. And now we can do the real math. How many red marbles? I don't need to know about the blue ones anymore. I needed that to figure out the total, but this is all I need. I can make a proportion. 7 red to 10 total equals how many red to 40 total? 7 times 40 equals 10 times x. Divide both sides by 10. You can divide the 40 by 10 in first. X is 28. There would be 28 red marbles in that group. We could figure out the blue, but they didn't ask then. Good luck. Keep on working. That's the legal stuff.